Be seated. Welcome, bienvenue à tous et à toutes ce matin. My name is Pascal Sicotte, and I am the Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Science at Concordia. I would like to begin by acknowledging that Concordia University is located on unceded indigenous lands. The Ganyahaga Nation is recognized as the custodians of the lands and the waters on which we gather today. Jojage, the Ganyahaga Nation is recognized as the custodians of the lands and the waters on which we gather today. Jojage, Montreal, est reconnu comme un lieu de rassemblement pour plusieurs Premières Nations. Et aujourd'hui, on, on y retrouve à la fois une population autochtone diversifiée, ainsi que des populations issues d'autres origines. We respect the continued connections with the past, present, and future in our ongoing relationships with indigenous and other peoples within the Montreal community. Distinguis invité, chers collègues, family and friends, to our graduates. I am so pleased that we're able to celebrate you in person today. I believe that we got through the difficult time of the last few years thanks to the respect, the compassion, and the empathy that we show and have shown one another. My hope is that you will carry the lessons of the last few years as you move through the world and find your place in it. Remember the many ways, big and small, that we can support and uplift each other in challenging times. À vos proches, ici aujourd'hui, merci pour l'appui que vous avez donné à nous, à vos étudiants. Thank you for helping them remain tenacious and to stubbornly pursue their goals, no matter how out of reach they may have seemed. It is with great pride that I say congratulations to all our graduates. Félicitations à tous nos gradués et à tous nos nouveaux diplômés. And as you prepare to take the next step in your journey, let me say that there could, admi there could have been no better role model than today's honorary doctorate recipient, Phoebe Tati. She has dedicated her career to preserving and promoting indig indigenous languages and cultures. Et j'aimerais que vous laissiez inspirer par son parcours et par ses accomplissements. I know that you will find inspiration from her story and that you will galvanize that inspiration into action. It is now my pleasure to introduce Concordia's Chancellor, Jonathan Weiner. Thank you. truly wonderful to be with you to here today to honor your achievements as Concordians. Convocation ceremonies are always special occasions, but today's event is especially meaningful because you had to do part of your studies during the pandemic when all our lives were turned upside down. La COVID-19 nous a privé et vous a privé d'une foule d'activités pédagogiques, parascolaires et purement sociales qui contribuent à définir la vie. Are you having trouble hearing me? Yeah, you're okay. Dans les travaux, les projets et les examens sont concurs et réalisés. Elle nous a forcé à ré... Apparently, 
we have a problem with my voice. So I'm going to start over again. <laughs> Congratulations to each of you. I commend your perseverance, dedication, and hard work. Despite the many challenges and continuous curveballs life threw at you these past two years, you did it. Take pride in your accomplishments. Enjoy this moment. In the company of loved ones who played an important role in your success. Graduation is an important milestone. For most of you, it marks the end of the time as a student and start of your professional journey. The past two years have been challenging. We suffered loss, isolation, uncertainty, and fear. Yet we witnessed incredible fortitude innovation, and creativity. Concordia transitioned its entire curriculum online in a matter of weeks. Our preparedness allowed us to continue teaching and learning during a time of great upheaval. More importantly, the pandemic revealed our community's true spirit. We saw an incredible outpouring of kindness, empathy, and generosity. Réfléchissez aux leçons que vous avez tirées de la pandémie et d'une période d'énormes bouleversements sociétaux et mondiaux. Les défis que vous avez surmontés vous ont rendu plus forts et plus adaptables. Ce que vous avez vécu restera avec vous for the rest of your life. C'est une histoire que vous rencontrez à vos petits enfants et que vous servira tout au long de votre carrière. The world is going through a period of monumental change that includes and touches almost every aspect of your lives. Add to that the fear that you're transitioning from an environment where everyone told you what you should do to one where you now have to decide what you want to do. Believe me when I say that path will not be in a straight line. That decision, what you want to do, is among the most important you will make. Be bold, take chances, and do not be afraid to make mistakes. This is how you will discover what works and what doesn't. Thomas, and Thomas Edison made a thousand attempts at inventing the light bulb. When he finally succeeded, a reporter asked him what it felt like to fail a thousand times. And Thomas Edison said, I did not fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. Accept failure as part of the success and learn from it. Vous rejoignez un réseau de diplômes de plus de 245 000 personnes. Tirez parti de ce réseau. Profitez des énormes ressources et de la communauté qui existe à Concordia. Il n'y a jamais eu d'aussi important punerie de diplômer, éduquer et former dans la plupart des industries. Les possibilités sont incomparables. Moi, elles se trouvent peut-être dans les domaines que vous n'avez pas envisagés. Avec l'évolution rapide des technologies et l'avènement de l'intelligence artificielle, le monde se transforme à un rhythme sans précédent. To thrive, you will have to be leaders of change. Do not be afraid to lead by exerting a positive influence on those around you. When you elevate others, you elevate yourself. When you finally achieve success, remember that you will not do so alone. You were helped by those who paved the road before you and helped you along the way. 
Remember to give back, whether financially or through the gift of your knowledge and time. Give back to your alma mater and community by investing in the future generations of graduates, just as previous generations have invested in you. Define your success by the degree to which you positively affect those around you and your community. Je tiens à remercier le recteur Graham Carr pour son leadership et sa vision au cours de deux dernières années. Il a supervisé la, trans, euh, supervisé la transition de l'université, de l'apprentissage et de l'enseignement en personne à l'enseignement en ligne. Il courait été plus facile de passer en monde ce vie et d'attendre que la crise passe. Au lieu de cela, Graham a pris les rênes de l'université avec courage, intégrité, panache et un leadership exceptionnel. Merci, Graham. I want to thank the faculty and staff who worked so tirelessly to provide the best possible education and services to our students and broader community during these difficult times. To the parents, friends, and loved ones who supported our new graduates through their challenging journey, thank you. Finally, to our new graduates, I couldn't be prouder of you. It wasn't easy, and it wasn't what you expected. Yet with true Concordian spirit, you persevere. Apply that strength and determination to your career and to your life, and I have no doubt you will realize all your dreams and ambitions. Dream big and follow your passion. As a fellow graduate, I wish you all good luck, good health, and good fortune. Chapeau et merci. Chancellor and President of the University, Graham Carr, to address the convocation. Bonjour, good morning. The Chancellor said it is indeed wonderful to be with, here, with you here today to honor your achievements as Concordians. And uh, convocation ceremonies are, as he said, indeed very special occasions, all the more special for classes such as yours that graduated partly as you, during the period of the pandemic. Uh, I think we all know that the pandemic forced us to adapt and adapt again and continue adapting. It forced us to persevere through uncertainty, through frustration, and at times, disillusion. But now you've made it. You're about to graduate. Congratulations. Your success speaks not just to your endeavor, but also to the extraordinary efforts of faculty and staff who helped deliver our academic mission. And I'm sure there are also many, many family members and friends cherishing this moment with you today who had a hand in your success. Today, you join a, a community, you join a family of more than 245,000 Concordia graduates. Nous avons des diplômés de toutes les régions du Québec, du Canada, et de plus de 150 pays du monde entier. Et cette diversité explique en grande partie pourquoi Concordia est une université si emballante, innovante et internationale. Whenever I travel and meet alumni, it's fascinating to hear about our graduates' individual stories. But especially, it's great to hear about their pride 
at being Concordians. And why not? Our university has fantastic momentum, and our graduates are a big reason for that. For the third year in a row, Concordia has been ranked the top university younger than 50 years of age, not just in Canada, but all North America. And this spring, when Times Higher Education measured the impact that more than 1,400 universities worldwide were making towards achieving the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, Concordia ranked in the top 50 globally for our work to reduce inequality. <laughs> 20th in the world for how we perform on climate action and, yes indeed, and fifth in the world fifth in the world for our leadership in creating smart cities and communities. That's not bad for a university that hasn't yet turned 50 years old. But even more important than the numbers are what those three categories say about our values, about our commitment to opportunity and accessibility, to environmental responsibility, to blending technology with design to improve the quality of life for all in our urbanizing world. When all is said and done, there are two key performance indicators that measure university success. First, how does its research, teaching, action, and innovation contribute to the public good? And second, what is it that our graduates go on to do? Some of you already have big ambitions for your future. Others may still be unsure about what road you're take, you'll take. But that's why this next part of the convocation ceremony matters. At Concordia, we choose our honorary doctorates for inspiration. Nous recherchons des personnes qui ont accompli de grandes choses dans leur domaine respectif, qu'elles soient connues du public ou non. We choose people who have demonstrated the vision and capacity to lead, to innovate, to teach, to improve, to transform. Independent thinkers, creators, innovators, but most important of all, doers. But the honor, the honor goes both ways. Les récipiendaires d'un doctorat honorifique de Concordia nous honorent en retour par leur volonté de faire partie de ce que nous sommes en tant qu'université et ce que nous aspirons à devenir. They honor us by their belief that we align with their values and also want to make an impact in the area where they're blazing trails. In a moment, you'll hear from Phoebe Tatton. But before that, I want to remind us that we began this ceremony with a territorial acknowledgement. It's meant to be a reminder, both of the important history of Indigenous peoples in this country, but also that universities are colonial institutions literally grounded in Indigenous space, but too often indifferent to that reality. Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which inquired into the sordid history of residential schools, was a serious wake-up call to the complicity of our education systems in the suppression of Indigenous identity. The Commission's calls to action challenge us as places of learning to do many things, including to be respectful of Indigenous identities and to open our minds to Indigenous knowledge culture and innovation. Language is obviously at the heart of identity and in a career that has spanned many forms and many decades of public engagement, Phoebe Tati, as you will hear in a moment, has been an ardent champion of Indigenous language and we're privileged to celebrate her achievements with you today. I'll stop there and let our citation reader provide a full introduction to our honoree in a moment. But what I hope you take from this ceremony, other 
than your pride of accomplishment, and you better be proud of your accomplishments. What I hope you take away is inspiration. L'inspiration nécessaire pour transformer la formation rigoureuse que vous avez reçue à Concordia en action bénéfique, concrète pour la société et le monde. Car, après tout, les cérémonies comme celle d'aujourd'hui mettent en lumière la promesse éternelle des universités. Every year, thousands of new students begin their studies and thousands more graduate. And that's how the cycle of inquiry, learning, and innovation evolves and flourishes. Because in the end, it's through all of you that we offer solutions to the world. Felicitations encore. Congratulations on your success. I look forward to the impact you're sure to make. Thank you. Merci. Mr. Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Ms. Phoebe Tati, to recognize her decades of First Nations advocacy. Long before the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action in 2015, which include calling on the Government of Canada to acknowledge Indigenous language rights, Ms. Tati was an ardent champion of Dene languages and cultures and Indigenous language education. Ms. Tati is a member of the Sahtu Gotene First Nation in the Great Bear Lake region of the Northwest Territories. She is a fluent speaker of the Sahtu Delene language, and she holds a master's degree in Indigenous education from the University of Victoria. Her thesis, entitled The Wind Waits for No One, explored the foundational role that spirituality plays in the development of the Dene language. Throughout her career, Ms. Tati has generously shared her knowledge, her wisdom, and her experience, and has worked closely with Indigenous leaders, elders, language experts, and interprovincial education professionals to uphold and protect the rights of her people. Among her many roles, she was a monitoring agent of the Northwest Territories Official Languages Act, worked for more than two decades for the Territories Department of Education, and co-chaired the Aboriginal Language Task Force during the mid-1980s. Ms. Tati was also involved in the Satu People's Land Claim Settlement that enshrined the ongoing role of Dene and Métis people as stewards of the land and the community of Delaney's final government agreement that established a community-based Indigenous government. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Board of Governors and Senate, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Ms. Phoebe Tati so that you may confer upon her the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. I would like to ask Dr. Tibi Fibi Tati to address the convocation. Thank you.
Good morning, Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Vice President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class, family, and friends. So, in a case, I told in a scene, good and must see you see. It did dinner, go over a jury data, did dinner, it did it all again. I'd like to thank the people, my people, Satut in it, for it is them that are receiving this doctorate degree with all the work that they have done and all the gifts they have given us. Masi. My name is Phoebe Taddy. Our people were descending from the mountain to the Mackenzie River in blue skin boats. It was spring, the water were rushing, the boats were fragile, and there were very few places where it was safe to land. A child was being born, so a smaller muskin boat was made for that woman in labor and attached to the bigger boat. When the boats landed, the elders asked, where is the child that was born on water? The child was picked up from the smaller boats and carried to shore to be presented to the elders. The elders named him Tahti, which means brought ashore. My real name is Tahti, which comes from my great-great-grandfather. I am a member of the Satugot in a First Nation, one of the people of the Dene Nation in the Northwest Territories. Our traditional territory is Great Bear Lake, and it is a watershed including the upper Great Bear River and the barren lands to the east. Great Bear Lake is the eighth largest lake in the world, over 300 kilometers long. My home community Delana has a population of 600 people, and it is the only community on this huge body of water. Our traditional lands and waters are rich in non-renewable resources, fish, and wildlife. The Sahtugut in it have relied on the resources since time immemorial, and we continue to rely on them today. It is a privilege for me to, to be here with you today to share your convocation. I am very humble, honored and very humbled to be granted an honorary doctorate of law degree from Concordia University. I want to thank everyone at Concordia University who was involved in the, in the review leading to my nomination. I have been involved in the Dene rights movement in the Northwest Territories for almost 50 years. A great deal of my work has been in the field of education, working to preserve and enhance our Dene lang languages and our culture. The only way for our ancestors to survive in our harsh environment was the awareness that they needed to work together and to support one another. Individuals brought their own gifts from the Creator to the community. Some were exceptional at harvesting and knew every inch of our traditional land. Others had special knowledge for medicine and how to maintain our camps, including making tents and clothing. We had prophets in touch with our spirituality. We had people, especially elders, who ha held knowledge about our laws and culture and act often pa passed it along by telling us stories. We had special people with gifts to entertain and to make people laugh. Humor is extremely important to people who need to work very hard under uncertain conditions to survive. I was recognized as having been given the gift to be knowledge holder, to gather and to hold knowledge 
and to help pass it on to the new generations. I feel that in being granted the honorary degree, I am receiving it on behalf of my community. I am honored to be convocating with a number of graduating indigenous students and I want to speak to you. Our language comes from our land. It gives us our identity. It shapes our values and our worldview. The Dene believe that the animals, the plants, and other en entities on earth are living beings. We believe that the Dene were the last to arrive on earth, and the animals and the plants provide it for us so that we can live and survive. We believe that we must respect, protect, and maintain these li living entities for their and for our survival. Fire is a living being and it provides for us. When we light the fire, it is grateful to us for its life and in return, it bestows a gift on us. To show our respect for the important role it plays in our lives when we light it, we smudge ourselves with the first smoke. Great Bear Lake is, a, is rich in fish. If you find a little rock in its stomach, we believe that it's a gift from the fish with something good that will happen to you. We call that Shuhta. I was lucky that I was born among people who were rich in those culture and language. I learned from that. There is a great movement in indigenous nations across Canada to learn their language. As a teacher, for me, that is half the battle. Children and people learn the language more easily when they are learning on the land because they are able to see, feel, and understand the connection between language and the land. I am pleased that our teachers in Delane take our young people onto the land on a regular basis to enrich their language and learning experience. You need to become stewards of the land, appreciating the importance of our lands to maintaining our language and culture. In doing so, know that our traditional knowledge and perspective is just as important as the scientific knowledge of today. As one Dene elder and educator told me, to survive today, you need to be, learn to be strong like two people. Each of you have your gifts from the creator. I am confident that each of you will be able to use your gifts to benefit of yourself, to the benefit of yourself, your family, and your people. By presenting me with this honorary degree, Concordia University is confirming that indigenous languages are integral to who indigenous people are. Our language and our identity comes directly from our traditional lands and are vitally important to the survival of indigenous people. I honor the university for this recognition. Uh, thank you very much to my family and to my people in Delane, Masicho. Thank you very much. I want to thank you. I think your remarks touched everybody here today. You, I see it in your eye as we have looked at each other a few times over the last two days. 
you've given us the gift and the gifts that you have received have been shared with us with great spirit and as a great teacher. Thank you. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Doctor of Doctorate in Philosophy from the following programs. Biology, Chemistry, Communication, Education, English, Geography, Urban and Environmental Studies, History, Humanities, Individualized Programs, Mathematics, Physics, Psychology, Religion. Shiva Bakhtiari Kusorki. Jameson Daliwal. <laughs> Isaac Blaze Joko. <laughs> Imge Ozugergen. Alan de Aguiar Lopez. <laughs> Anik Imfeld. <laughs> Christopher Lixner.
Taylin Viana de Medeiros. Sarah Christina Ganzon. Suela Musali. Marlon Fernandez Sanchez. David Shaw. Jose Javier Alavez Gomez. Daniel Stephen Horan Greenford. Sandra Jo Hubber. Gabriel Alejandro Peña Tijerina. Anne Louise Howard. Piyusha Chatterjee. Monica Nunez Dantas. Jean Philippe Gagné. Stephanie Gallant. Lena van der Velde Kremen. Mandy Rita Lecoq. Marissa Mercury. Esther Renate Schott. Franz Robert Villarule. Afra Jalabi. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Arts and the Master of Magisteriate in Science from the following programs. Human Systems Intervention, Biology, Chemistry, Media Studies, Economics, Applied Linguistics, Child Studies, Educational Studies, Educational Technology, English, English Literature, Traductology. Osama al Eryani. Laura Camilla Cardenas Verdugo. Benoit Eclash. Miriam Ginestier. Carlo Tadeo. Mark Underwood. Veronica Groves. Zeyu Shao.
Gabriel Junot. Marie Bernard Brindamour. Hannah Grover. Natalia Melissa Munoz Gonzalez. Rebecca Redden. Tahere Arabi. Mayukun Alawani. Thaweb Mamri. Thi Min Tom Nguyen. Bavia Sachdeva. Cheng Di Shen. Parsnai Dalebi. Mina Jalalian. Yu Kwan Leo. Tian Bo Tran Tang. Gina Ward. Yan Tong Ye. Yun Ting Shao. Malika Mohammed. Camille Terrien. Tabassum Alam. Yun Shi Chang. Karina Sofia Yernieri. Amandeep Kaur. Paul Lott. Jessica Marcillo. Jessica Roy. Brooke Welburn. Charlene Ann Abram. Maria Sol Bursic. Amanda Dandria. Nancy Di Girolamo. Jessica Anel Gonzalez Trevino. Rasha Seme.
Matthew Church. Julia Clark Kombach. Claudine Bellam. Dawson Ford Campbell. Vanya Miladinova. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Arts and the Master of Magisteriate in Science from the following programs, Geography, Urban and Environmental Studies, Health and Exercise Science, History, Individualized Programs, Digital Innovation in Journalism Studies, Mathematics, Philosophy and Physics. Jacob Ryan. Zara Motagi Mogadam. <laughs> Alexa Rusak. <laughs> Tehila Zvionao. <laughs> Dorota Kupis. Gabrielle McLaren. <laughs> Geneviève Riou. <laughs> Joanne May Ramil. <laughs> Clara Gepner. Benjamin Langue. <laughs> Kellyanne Pimentel Lopez. <laughs> Merad Alavipur. <laughs> Alexandre Johnson. Emily DeMille Wright. <laughs> Kianye Zhao. <laughs> Emmanuel Cuisinier. <laughs> Leah Edmonds. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Arts and the Master of Magister Magisteriate in Science from the following programs, Political Science, Public Policy and Public Administration, Psychology, Religions and Cultures, Judaic Studies, Social and Cultural Anthropology, Sociology and Theological Studies. Anthony Breton. Musta Dureid. <laughs> Gregory Grigoropoulos. <laughs> Justinas Staskevicius. <laughs> George Tsakaroulis. Ariane Wilson. Yeah. 
Rebecca Baye. <laughs> Kayla Boudouin. <laughs> Jordan Charles. <laughs> Sarah Boyer. Antonio Xabel Amaral Gomez, Jr. Arasi Munyan. I am pleased to introduce you the candidates for the graduate diploma in the following programs. Biotechnology and Genomics, Clinical Psychology, Communication Studies, Environmental Assessment, Instructional Technology, Traduction, and Youth Work. Renuma Islam. <laughs> Muskan Juneja. <laughs> Harsimran Kaur. Caroline Chalala. <laughs> Kunkei Ishie Okafor. <laughs> Pauline Batamu Lomami. <laughs> Mackenzie Renshaw Valiquet. Lois Tarikabor. Anna Nikolik. Jonathan Sullivan. Eve Lombley. Anna Iris Awilda Perez Razado. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Arts and the Bachelor of Bala Baccalaureate in Science from the following departments. Applied Human Sciences, Biology, Chemistry and Biochemistry, Classics, Modern Language and Linguistics, Communication Studies and Economics. Paris Jada Burgess. Gabriela Campisi. <laughs> Sabrina Pfeiffer with distinction. <laughs> Giancarlo Grillo. Annabelle Marina Huerta Estelier. <laughs> Aliha Ilias. <laughs> Ryan Mitchell. <laughs> Tiffany Oliviere. Garifalia Panagagos.
Kelly Prieur. Diana Rice with distinction. <laughs> Cheryl Elizabeth Scott. <laughs> Victoria Scotto. Carles Cully. <laughs> Denise Toprak. <laughs> Trisha Wellman. <laughs> Megan Wheeler. Junia Almeyn with distinction. <laughs> Caroline Aria. <laughs> Bradley Arsenault. Nova Azazian with distinction. <laughs> Helen Adiba Bungi. <laughs> Chiara Bicinelia. Chiara Bicinelia. Julia Del Rosso. Amber Grewal. Michelle Hutchison. Julia Klein with distinction. Bob Moise with distinction. Yeah. Rada Patel. Yeah. Garance Louise Elizabeth Rosmorduc with yeah. distinction. Sizer Demirer. <laughs> Dania Kaleas. <laughs> Yafe Liu. <laughs> Seyedenegin Nabavi with great distinction. <laughs> Stephanie Willett. <laughs> Sabrina Paredes Martinez. Anael Trisha Ragaven. <laughs> Justin Sardilli. <laughs> Panagiota Taktikakis with distinction.
Anna Tinfangna. Min Chang Kang. Soumya Wahi. Jude Al Shruji. Adriana Kanseri with distinction. Lubna El Arudi. Abdel Gonzalez Estenos. Joyce Marie Victoria Mbani. Nu Me Nuyen. Owen Van Esbroek with distinction. Miranda Yitz with distinction. Kautar Zahed. Iman El Mouli. Dana Isabella Fonicolo. Victoria Lorino. Paola Edme Martinon Gonzalez. Bianca Polcari with distinction. Dixwan Buan. Alexandra Badita. Silvia Rosa Kamako Nogueira. Adam Shahal. Rongjian Chen with distinction. Diana Elena Danila. Mariana Farid Celio. Julia Guerreiro. Jungwon Lee with distinction. Severin Liefen. Elliot Mawangi. Roshan Ino. Marc Anthony Palacios Castellania. Applause 
Varik Patel. Anthony Samoila. Utek Seo. Eduardo Andres Vieira Garcia with distinction. Please enjoy this short video highlighting student life at Concordia before we continue with calling of graduates. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Arts and the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Science from the following departments. Education, English, Etudes Francaise, Geography, Planning and Environment, Health Kinesiology and Applied Physiology, History, Journalism, Mathematics and Statistics, Philosophy, Physics. Miranda Denis. <laughs> Victoria Sky Fode. <laughs> Jennifer Hobatia. <laughs> Michaela Marco Glies, with distinction. Jalen Carmen Paris, with distinction. Donna Heil Norville. Jeremy Garieppi, with distinction. 
Vanessa Hajar. Nyok Tuan David Nguyen. Micah Peters Lozong. Yinez Relic with distinction. Caitlin Chorus. Gabriella De Moro. Sarah Duplessis. Noemi Marqueda Golobioski with distinction. Kasim Saeed. Catherine Sauvé Dowers with great distinction. Erica Frodo Rodriguez. Mariev Huot with distinction. Guillaume Lambert with distinction. Pooja Patel. Asif Rahman. Jinyi Sung. Omar Dawi. Dayuan Geng. Ivona Georgieva Ivanova. Simon Malaborsa. Rhea Miskawi with distinction. Michael Santori. Victoria Anna Skrilli Ferreira. Tracy Ann Kazenan Howie Snow. <laughs> Nadia Tahiri. <laughs> Zhang Yu Yu. <laughs> Winoma Ui. Yumna Ahmed with distinction. <laughs> Ashley Cesar with distinction. <laughs> Megan Derry. Celeste De Rosier with distinction. <laughs> Pervina Patel with distinction. <laughs> Kellyanne Rivar. <laughs> Josette Risk 
with great distinction. Thomas Cristiano. Megan Collins, with distinction. Tijun Hu. John Kilroy, with distinction. Owen Farrand, with distinction. Kwan Jun Yum. Sierra Ferfaro. Jing Yi Ma. Camille Morin, with distinction. Marianne Saliba. Jessica Tangwe. Jianfeng Zhang. Sophia Nikolakakis. Valerie Kurval. Joshua Emerson. Celeste Millies Ferris. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate of Arts and the Bachelor of Baccalaureate of Science for the following departments. Political Science, Psychology, Religions and Cultures, Interdisciplinary Studies, School of Community and Public Affairs, Simone de Beauvoir Institute, Sociology and Anthropology, and Theological Studies. Tia Batu Adeniemi, with distinction. Linda Alassar. JB and Lenric Apuli. Lojen Azam with distinction. Gabriel Barroes Obando. Sarah Boroba. Jenna Karazoa. Mandeep Double Hair. <laughs> Caroline Devavizarger. <laughs> Valentina Diaz Byers, with distinction. Brighton Charles Elliott. Thank you. 
Enver Isbir. George Katsaros. Grace Adu Ushando. Natalia Martinez Morales. Camille Mercier. Emolio Ulawamani Meseko with distinction. <laughs> Noor Mohammed. Janine May Reese. Sadrien Roson. Samara Page Singerman with distinction. Tipeha Sivarataran. Thomas Suvalos. Logan Stephenson. Rebecca Tikabe with distinction. Tia Tessawak. Mandeep Upi. Lidio Zakeo. Orian Bosk. Karen Sharmas. Tamara Dandan. Paritha Ganani. Saran Hamilton. Julie Quadrio. Andrea Salazar Para. Clara Scudder Davis with great distinction. Constantinos Sidorus. Daria Susan with distinction. Giuliano Lafreniere de Ferisca with great distinction. Sierra Sarkadi. Joanne Wedlock. Amanda Roberge. <laughs> Sophia Mortaya Caladino.
Brianna Reese. Sarah Davis. Aja Mame Diego. Malia Faza. Brittany McElroy. Tamina Akhtar. Chloe Bellew with distinction. Kamar Alalak. Bianca Guccialdi. <laughs> Kathleen Gilbert with distinction. <laughs> Kathia Fernanda Larazas Herrera. Charles Moetti. Alicia Croser. Madeline Marie Raffinati. Karina Sass Villamiri. Abel or Gabriel Sojourn. Amandeep Singh. Rodney Skirt. Skyla Stromaris. Olivia Viscusi. Rodney Salibar. I am pleased to introduce you the candidates for the undergrad certificate in the following departments. Applied Human Sciences, Education, Geography Planning and Environment, Interdisciplinary Studies, Theological Studies. Jennifer E. Lovo. Avery Barnaby. Rodolfo Zunino. The Governor General's Academic Medal, Silver Level, is awarded on behalf of Her Excellency the Right Honourable Mary Simon, the Governor General of Canada, to the highest ranking undergraduate student graduating from Cordy University. Graduating from the Department of Psychology, it is with great pleasure that I announce this year's winner, Guiliano Lafreniere de Frusia.
The Governor General's Gold Medal is awarded on behalf of Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Mary Simon, the Governor General of Canada to the highest ranking graduate student graduating from Concordia University. From the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, the recipient's thesis was titled Development of Synthetic Methodologies to Prepare I'm going to try. <laughs> Oligon nuclei nucleotide conjugates and exploration of their properties for applications in biotechnology. Graduating with a PhD in chemistry, I am pleased to present to you the winner of the Governor General Gold Medal, Dr. Christopher Lixner. I would like to ask our, um, Anne Whitlaw, our vice, our provost, <laughs> for her remarks. Would all graduates please stand? <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates and the Faculty of Arts and Science. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees. By the powers granted in the University Charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate as approved by Senate and certified by the Provost. Congratulations. Please be seated. I would like, I would now like to call upon this year's valedictorian to give the valedictory address. Here he is again, Dr. Christopher Lexner. Chancellor Wiener, President and Vice Chancellor Carr, Dr. Tati, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families and friends, I am so pleased and honored to address you today on behalf of the graduating students. Graduates, you should be so, so proud of your accomplishments. I know all too well from my own imposter syndrome that this isn't always an easy task, but you really did this. In such an uncertain time in history, you persevered to achieve your academic goal, transitioning from the traditional and familiar classroom experience to disconnected Zoom sessions and back to the classroom again wasn't easy. Feeling isolated away from your Concordia community wasn't easy. Coming to campus to complete wet labs during a global pandemic wasn't easy and frankly terrifying to some extent. International students feeling stranded so far away from home, keeping their dream alive was most certainly not easy. Your strength of character is more evident than ever, so again, I urge you to be proud of yourself. To celebrate this accomplishment because it wasn't easy, but you did it anyway. Be here in the now and don't look too far ahead because I assure you, the grass isn't greener on the other side. Newer challenges will always exist, 
beyond the one you just surpassed. With that in mind, I'd like to attempt to help you face some of these new challenges by sharing some of my thoughts and experiences. I've gone through some unexpected hardship recently, which opened my eyes to some of the fundamental ideas of living a fulfilling life. First, in order to thrive, I believe it's imperative to practice self-love. I don't mean be selfish or arrogant, and certainly not ignoring the needs of others. Rather, it's about believing in yourself, caring for yourself, and supporting yourself, creating a positive relationship with yourself in order to be confident and resilient to handle whatever may come knocking at your door. Do things for yourself that build you up and make you feel strong, beautiful, and proud. Whether it's jogging, painting, moisturizing, going out in nature, you know, when you truly, really love yourself, you're not going to be afraid to show your true, authentic self to the world and not just the facade of what you think society wants to see. It'll allow you to find the confidence to submit 100 job applications, not hear anything back, but still feel worthy. In the end, by being your best you, you can be best there for others. Secondly, please learn to laugh at yourself. <laughs> not in a self-deprecating way, but as a way to ground yourself to help you remember where you started and how it's totally normal to continually make mistakes. How we all can ever really do in life is try to learn from these mistakes and grow as individuals. No matter how educated you are, how successful you may feel, or how much wealth you amass, please laugh at yourself every now and again. To ease you into this process, <laughs> let me tell you a story of my own. Uh, my wife and I recently moved to California to continue our careers in chemistry. Um, I was tasked with setting up our apartment, which I felt quite confident I could do. Um, but as I was organizing the kitchen, I noticed the oven light wasn't turning on. <laughs> After peeking my head inside, I realized there was no light bulb. <laughs> then my brilliant PhD mind <laughs> took the first light bulb I could find and screwed it in. <laughs> I think you can see where this is going. Um, <laughs> But this wasn't the right light bulb. <laughs> no, it was an IKEA LED light bulb that seemed to work initially, but a few days later melted after using the oven. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, that mistake will definitely always make me laugh and keep me grounded. That I know for sure. Lastly, the most difficult of all, due to the uncertainty associated with it, is to embrace change. The world around us is intrinsically changing, going from order to disorder, and we need to teach ourselves and to learn how to deal with that in a healthy way. You can't always expect things to always be the same. That will just set yourself up for disappointment. That's not to say you can't place expectations on the future, but you need to be secure and prepared for any eventuality. That security will likely come from practicing self-love and allow you to slowly shift your mindset to enjoy the process, to enjoy the struggle, whatever that may be. After all, even though sometimes painful, change can be a true blessing. Embracing all three of these notions will require a lot of introspection in order to figure out who you really are. We are all unique, yes, but fundamentally speaking, we are all stardust. Turn conscious on this minuscule rock in the habitable zone of this uninteresting solar system, quite literally barreling through the universe. We are nothing, but at the same time, we are everything. That thought scares me to my core, but I believe some fear is necessary catalyst to keep growing to keep moving forward in this ever-changing world in order to be prepared for whatever hardship may come to pass. So please, love yourself, laugh at yourself, embrace the change that's coming, and use the perseverance, skills, and knowledge that you gained at Concordia University, and life will seem effortless. But in the end, if you only remember one thing from this address, there's a specific light bulb that goes into the oven. <laughs> On a more serious note, please remember to be kind and generous to each other and to eventually pay it forward 
when you can. Congratulations, graduates. Now go out and celebrate. Thank you for those illuminating remarks and very wise words. I, I would say that through life, being able to laugh at yourself, self-deprecating humor. Dr. Tibi and I last night talked about humor, and I must say it has carried me through some of the most difficult times. Never forget it. It is one of your greatest aids. Ladies and gentlemen, this just about wraps up the ceremony. And thank you for being here to celebrate the success of the graduating class of 2022. Graduates, I hope today's ceremony has been yet another exhilarating marker in the time that you spent with us at Concordia. La collation des grades est un droit de passage vers ce que nous espérons tout sincèrement être un avenir formidable et brillant for chacun d'entre vous. Avant que vous ne vous lanciez dans un avenir radieux, je peux être vous demander de prendre un moment pour rendre hommage aux personnes qui vous ont accompagné jusqu'à ce que vous soyez là où vous êtes aujourd'hui. Some of your supporters are your fellow classmates sitting among our audience. Some of your champions are the faculty and staff. Yet I have the sense that there are other people in the room who deserve to be thanked. So graduates, would you please stand up, turn around, and thank all the partners, families, and friends who've helped you get here. Thank you. Concordia is a great university with a promise of an even better future. And on this day, there is no better measure of our success and no better measure of our potential than all of you. We will always be your university. I would like to wish you all well that you succeed and follow your passions and before I invite you to our Van Donner outside, I want to leave you with one parting message. May the force be with you. Thank you. Thank you.